Yo, 5-9 Gamers, what's going on? It is your boy ZVG here, and today I am joined by the homie Virgil. Virgil, say what's up to the people. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Hope everyone's just vibing, staying frosty. Yes, sir, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new updated rating match tier list, basically the boost system, and they actually made quite a few changes to the Z tier and S tier boost in particular. We're going to be taking a look at it and, you know, discussing our thoughts and how it's going to impact the meta moving forward. And before we get into it, make sure you guys do like the video if you enjoy it. Also, subscribe if you are new because we make, you know, dope Dragon Ball Z content here on Five Night Gaming. But without further ado, let's hop into the meat of the video. So, um, as you can see on the screen, they're going to be changing the Z tier and S tier boost. Now, for Z tier, it was, you know, 40% damage up and 35% and to pure strike and blast defense. And after the adjustment, it's going to be 40% inflicted damage along with 40% to pure strike defense and blast defense. And units from the same episode get 20% more damage per battle member with that episode. So essentially, like USS units and movie units are going to benefit greatly from this because it's not it's not tags. It's episodes like movies um, or the, like USS, like, you know, all the sagas, essentially. Right. So. Um, me and Virgil were talking a little bit before we hopped into the video and he was like only the USS units are going to really benefit from this and I can see that too but I feel like you know some movie units can also um, benefit from this but Virgil what are your thoughts on you know the Z tier changes in particular? Z tier changes there's not like any crazy units that I think that would reap many benefits from this boost I mean it's quite a decent change you know you get that extra 5% to both defenses it's not too bad um, but maybe that you know Kamikolo uh, I, I'm looking at the the list right now. Kamik that blue Kamikolo from yeah. Cell Saga. So if you want to build like a Cell Saga team, throw LF Cell <laughs> on the team. I'm just looking at all these fun teams that you could probably build. Um, yeah. Do you think that they're trying to do something with these older units? You know, they're just sitting in the game, um, purposeless. So, uh, I mean, Red Pycons up there. You know, there's all those people out there that do like running the homie Red Pycon. So, anime original yeah. Saga units. But yeah, definitely USS is going to be reaping some benefits from the tier S. We got uh, Lavender, uh, Basil yeah. in that. So, um, you know, that's 20% damage for each of them, right? Uh, yeah. The Red Piccolo in movies. Ooh. Red Piccolo is actually pretty decent. So just yeah. buff for movies is really nice. Overall, I think it's decent, you know, just the fact that they're updating something that, you know, no one really thinks about. Yeah, for sure. Um, speaking of Red Pickle, I feel like he's the one who's going to benefit, you know, the most from this because his kit isn't, you know, old. You know, his kit's fairly new. He came out last year. And I think him, I think with this change, he probably might be the best Red on movies. I mean, he's going to get 100% more damage inflicted. He's going to get 40%. Uh, oh, no. Oh, my bad. He's in the S tier boost, right? Yeah, S tier. So, okay, so he's getting, um, yeah, 30% to damage, 30% to the pure defenses, along with 10% pure battle member. And I think with that, he actually might be the best red for movies. Um, I, I don't think Bojack can really compare with this, um, this boost right here. So, yeah, some units are going to benefit greatly from this, but others are like the Cell Saga, Frieza Saga, like those, those tags aren't really, you know, teams per se, you know. But I definitely feel like movies and USS is going to benefit the most. Uh, from this and i feel like i agree yeah i like to see this change because my main issue with the boost system was that the tier z and tier s units they needed a way way bigger boost you know to even think of competing in the current meta so i like that they're changing it up i like that they're giving you know them more boosts um but i, I still feel like i agree with, agree with what you said like most of these units um won't really see a huge change just because the teams the episodes that they're on aren't really fleshed out you know so that yeah, could maybe, also be an issue. Maybe, uh, maybe one day, you know, they're just preparing for one day where they'll actually see some, some usage. Uh, they also updated the Zenkai variants, right? The uh, the before after Zenkai. Yeah. So, so it's it's pretty much the same thing. Are gonna get um, what is that? Yeah, ten percent damage along with ten percent per episode, and the S tiers are gonna get five percent per episode and um eight percent damage inflicted. So. Hmm. Yeah, Zen guys also do benefit as well. I find it interesting that they went with the episodes instead of the tags. Yeah. I find that very interesting. I feel like that's kind of like limiting because most of the episodes, as you said, aren't really that good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think I think with this, we can safely say that they're going to keep, you know, improving the boost system for these older units. 
I feel like eventually they're gonna get even bigger boosts and maybe you know they'll change it to where it's a tag you know per tag instead of the per episode so yeah I, I do like that they are changing the boost system that this goes to show that they can change it and they you know they will change it for the better yeah, yeah. so that's um, something to think about for the future so a lot of people you know kind of like in including myself honestly like having that featured tier with these broken units right so they kind of test the waters with these things so they're they're making adjustments here and there so we're not gonna you know we can't really expect any of these things to be a hundred percent always set safe like this actually makes an impact they're gonna adjust it at some point here um looking at the tier s actually kaba's in tier s that zenkai one so uh he might be a good fit for what is it what god of destruction champa saga interesting just looking at this there's not that many zenkai options right now in tier s or tier z but Kamikolo and Kaba are the only ones that I could see having that impact. And the rest of them, like I said, it's 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 just good to have options and, and fun builds pretty much, you know, for showcases or just for, you know, essentially doing what you want to do most in this game, which is have fun. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. And also too, I feel like they can add more units like the red piccolo to the, you know, the S tier boost and stuff, because I feel like those units never really shine at all like i feel like some 2021 20, units just never hit the ground running and I, a pipico is on those units right so it's nice to see him in s tier and hopefully you see some you know increased play time with this new change um but i i'm pretty sure we all you know know what we, we really want from the boost system is that we want the feature boost to get taken out do you think that they'll ever take out the feature boost or um at the very least reduce the the boost that they get from the future boost what do you think honestly at the moment i don't think they would i mean just for the fact that they they committed enough to even set that up as a as a feature uh to add the future boost the inflicted damage and the defenses as it the incentive to get people to spend and summon and go crazy during a season so um I do also think that uh, inflicts what that um, that meta is going to be like. So regardless of if you're spending or not, if you like pull them for free or whatsoever, um, it, the meta will still be uh, whatever's that featured new unit and so on and so forth. So I, I do think that's a a positive. Like uh, I know the I'm, I'm I'd rather not have it right. But um, the do the positive that I do see from it is that the meta will always be changing because of what is in the future tier boost. Given the future tier boost is too long, maybe set it for like a season. You know, it'd be different, right? But to see it like fluctuating and always having new units in and out of there, um, that's just a, a positive outlook from it, right? Yeah, yeah, I can totally see that, and I do agree that uh, at least shorten the duration because I feel like the duration is way too long. Because then they have what, like two, two seasons in the future boost, then they go to three seasons in the future boost, then they go to a, which a boost, which the a tier boost is essentially the same a better future boost because you get more defenses in the a tier boost, right? So, and then they finally get thrown out of that whole boost system. So I do agree that they can at least sure in the duration because i feel like it's way too long but yeah i do agree that the meta will always be changing and i can't see that as a positive and, and a negative too because you know the meta does she has changed quite rapidly post festival um and that's kind of concerning but i can see where you know it is fun to see you know different teams every season for sure yeah as is uh positives and negatives you know ma mainly i mean it's, it's it's about a 50 50 right you definitely yeah. want to see different units out in pvp or it you know it doesn't become stale or you know like the hybrids meta lasted for quite a while so yeah. you're just seeing hybrids 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 and now you can see different teams just different units that are coming out and people are actually using them having different setups and stuff like that so i do think you know they there, there are changes to be made but they're yeah. you know they're working on it yeah for sure uh i do agree as well but yeah, I think you pretty much talked about, you know, the implications of this boost and what do you think is going to happen in the future. So let us know in the comments what you guys think of the boost changes. Do you guys think it's a good change? Do you guys think it's going to impact the meta greatly? Do you guys think it's not going to change anything at all? Let us know. This is ZVG, joined by the homie Virgil. And we'll catch you guys in the next Five Night Gaming video. Peace out and I love you guys. Peace.